Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Miss Chatterbox. So today we're gonna be talking about our, well, mine, 19 weeks to 20 weeks. Currently, right now, I am 22 weeks. Am I 22 weeks? Damn, I'm really 22 weeks. So we're gonna, the next video is gonna be 21 to 22 weeks. But I'm currently 22 weeks as of today. And I just wanna talk about 19 to 20 weeks. So let's start off with 19 weeks. If you're 19 weeks, your baby is as big as a mango or mango. Um, and if you're 20 weeks, your baby is as big as a sweet potato. Uh, for a week 19, your baby supposedly, my baby was, um, she's like, she was weighing a little bit bigger than these weeks, but it says your baby is supposedly supposed to be six inches long and weighs about eight ounces. This is at 19 weeks. And at 20 weeks, your baby is 6.5 inches and weighs about 10 ounces. That is a big leap in ounces. And it says 20 more weeks to go. So where I left off, I was talking about um, I had to get a blood test every single time that I went to the doctors. So um, in the, my 19 and 20 weeks, 19 weeks, I actually had an anatomy scan and I had the gestational and diabetes screening. Now, the reason why I had the gestational diabetes screening very early was because I did gain weight. I gained all the way up from um, 230, 227, 230 to 261. So I gained a lot of weight and my BMI was higher. So they always, I guess at this place that if your BMI is pretty high, they want you to go in and to check for diabetes and to check for all that, you know, which I think is really great because I'd rather if something, oh, my bra strap, anyway, don't mind this. But they rather, um, they rather you get checked early than to get checked later because God forbid something, you do have gestational diabetes or anything like that. They don't want you to, um, they want to catch it early on. So, and also there's a thyroid test. Everything came back perfectly. I don't have any of that, which I thank God. Let me tell you, when I did the um, gestational diabetes test, this is what I had to do. So um, the lady in the front office, she told me to make the appointment early. So I made it at 8.45 a.m. Because she said that um, to get it over with. So what you do is you drink this sugary drink. Now, the drink that I got, I let them pick. I said, which one is better? She gave me a choice of orange soda type one, like the orange sugary one, the fruit punch sugary one, or the lime one. I, in my heart, I was like, let me pick like fruit punch because that would be sweet. But um, a few of the ladies were saying, get the lime, get the lime, because it just tastes like a flat Sprite. So I was like, okay, it is what it is. Mind you, the day before, I was throwing up like crazy, just throwing up, throwing up. I was so sick. So after I threw up yesterday, I mean the day before, I didn't eat anything. And I barely, I drank like a cup of water and that was it. So I threw up my dinner the night before and I woke up and I didn't eat anything because I was hearing mixed stories that um, you can either, that you're not supposed to drink. I should have asked them beforehand. So I was looking it up online. Some people said that you can eat but you can't have anything sugary. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I just won't eat. So mind you, I had only one bottle of water and they told me, they said, okay, we're gonna see the time that you can, um, you're gonna start, well, whenever you wanna start. I started at 8.50, I finished at 8.55. It was very quick, it didn't taste bad, it didn't taste good, it just tastes like literally flat soda. Um, and then she told me, wait an hour. So I waited an hour. Once I waited that hour, they tried, they took blood. She couldn't even take any blood out of my veins. Like she literally said like, she's on my veins. She showed me, she's like, look, look. And I was like, I don't want to look at a needle, but I looked and she was like, I'm moving it around and there's no blood coming out of your vein. She was like, you must be severely dehydrated. And I said, I kind of am. So she tried the other arm, no blood was coming out. After that, like all that poking and stuff, it kind of made me woozy. And I told her, like, I'm feeling really, really like sick right now. So she told me, she said, okay, 
She's like, lay down for a second. They had me lay down. They gave me cold water because you're not supposed to drink afterwards because it messes up, but they had to give me something. She didn't want me to repeat it because she said, if I have to repeat it, I will have to go through the same process over again. So I was like, all right. So what she did, um, I spent like about like five, 10 minutes laying down. And then she was like, I'm going to take it out of your hand. She was able to get blood from that. And I was able to get the results and it was, you know, fine. I was good. They called me back though. Because I was um, telling them, the doctor asked me, is there anything wrong? And I was like, you know, I'm getting this discharge and I don't like it. It reminds me of like, I'm, I think I'm getting a yeast infection or I have bacterial vaginosis. So she checked me on that, came, it comes to find out I did have a yeast infection, bacterial vaginosis. So, sorry, excuse me. So what she did was she gave me some, um, she gave me uh, this gel thing to put up my cooter cat <laughs> and she gave me suppositories to put it up and everything is fine now she said you know that happens when you are pregnant that there's so much of your hormones you're taking different type of pills so it's a lot on your body so your body is like mixing so much stuff so your ph balance can end up becoming off so i was like okay you know that's fine um so yeah so during the 19 so let's fast forward during the anatomy scan let's go to anatomy scan i went to another place that does the ultrasound down the um it was like four doors down and they did the anatomy scan she was ugh, it was crazy she like literally they said she was very stubborn because when the woman was like oh we're gonna check her brain now she put her hand over her head we're gonna check her legs she covered up her legs like she was just being really stubborn so i have to go back at 23 weeks to check her heart but they said she was um she was perfect with weight they said she was 10 ounces and so she they said she was perfect with the weight perfect with the length the brain but they just couldn't see her heart because she turned her back so yeah and she wouldn't move after that and i've noticed that about her like once she turns around she's just like f y'all i'm done with y'all that's it and she's gone <laughs> but um what I noticed after the anatomy scan, I noticed that she wasn't moving a lot. Like, she would move only at night. So, during the day, I'm guessing she's sleeping. And then, during it, like during the night, when I'm trying to sleep, she's, like, more active. So, I heard that you can kind of tell a baby's um, sleeping pattern when they're in the womb. By when they move and when they don't move. That's what I heard. So, let me know down below if that's true. So, um... One thing that she said with the anatomy scan, because I have the tummy tuck, she said that my um, my baby is not moving up. She's like very low and she's staying low because she really likes to be in around. Like I guess the tummy tuck scar is like comfort for her because she doesn't, she hasn't moved up. Like she's literally sitting low on my tummy tuck scar. Like I can feel her right there on the scar and I can feel her like near my like, the JJ area and um that's what they told me that she's very comfortable over there and she she's gonna move they did say that she is breech right now meaning that um I guess like feet first that's what breech means I forgot what breech means um but yeah she's breech right now they said that's fine because she will eventually turn around and turn the correct way as I get bigger and bigger um yeah, so on week 20, which was two weeks ago, I started making my registry. So I'm excited about that. I want to, I'm going to make a video about like a registry list. But yeah, so I started um, with that. I'm excited. It's a lot of things that I put down. There might be some stuff that I'm missing. So if you want, if you guys, I'm going to put my registry down below. And if you want to go and purchase something or even just look at the list and let me know if I'm missing something, I will greatly appreciate that. Like, I'm really, I'm really excited about this baby, of course, because, you know, it's my first. But I'm just excited about the whole process. Like, I literally brought my first little outfit for her. I'm going to show you guys that the following week. But it's just, it's a learning process for me. And as I continue to grow and as I continue to become the mother that I intend to be 
it's just so much things like I'm learning and I'm learning day by day and I'm just really excited for this. You know, one thing, my anxiety has, it's getting a lot better now because I have somebody to think of. So when I'm sad or when I'm like in my mood where I don't want to be near anybody, I literally, I just literally stop and think like, you know, you have something growing inside you. This person feels everything that you feel. So if you're feeling sad, that's like, that's the worst thing I want my child to feel is sadness, like all these negative like traits coming out the womb. So I want to give her joy. I want her to feel that her mommy is happy. Her mom, you know, brings joy to her. So like my whole life is turning around. Like there's, you know, it's just, it's a lot. It's a growing experience and I'm just here for it. I'm really here for it. So ladies, if there's any gentlemen or whatever, just comment down below if there's anything I'm missing in my baby registry, or if there's anything, like any stories that you guys had between 19 and 20 weeks that you would like to share, I would love to hear from your mommies, new mommies, old mommies, <laughs> like whoever. Um, just comment down below. Until next time, you guys, I will talk to you later in my 21 to 22 weeks, so when we end that 22 weeks. So until then, guys, you have a beautiful day, night, afternoon, whatever time you're looking at this, but just have a beautiful day, night, afternoon. I keep saying the same stuff, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> but thank you for whoever is watching. I really do appreciate this. I really appreciate that I'm helping some people, you know, I noticed on my Instagram, people are writing me, letting me know that I am helping them on their, you know, journey becoming a mother. So that's something I love to see. So yeah. Bye guys. <laughs> Later. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Belly shots. So I've kind of shown you a belly shot ahead, but this is at, um, it's a little head. This is 22 weeks. This is how I look now. Guys, let me know. Am I like showing? I want to start taking pictures. Like I think I want to announce it to like really announce it in social media. Um, like on my Facebook or Instagram on Mother's Day. Let me know when you guys shouted out your pregnancy and social media. If you even did, if you didn't, what was your reasons for not doing it? And what was your reasons for doing it? But until next time, see you guys.